Shalom, everybody. It's your brother, New Breed, coming through with another live stream. Welcome to another broadcast. As you can all see, um, you don't see a real salacious title to try to grab your attention and all of that. This is just unadulterated, uncut, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Just real talk. We got to talk about the curse of poverty and how God really works. Now, YouTube is playing games because we got 37 likes and only 15 people in the building. So, ladies and gentlemen, keep hitting the like button. Now, now it just it just snapped into it, but this is what they do. What's going on? I see y'all rolling in. Peace and blessings to the chat. You know, <clears throat> this discussion is really needed within the Israelite community, within the Christian community. A lot of religious folks need, need to really understand and comprehend what I'm about to bestow upon you. And I need you to have open ears. I need you to be receptive. I need you to understand that this is gonna challenge everything that you thought you knew. I'm gonna tell you how the Most High really works. Um, now, if you're a part of some type of religious institution, a cult, camp, church, this is gonna be hard for you to understand because a lot of times y'all put man over you. A lot of times you believe that the answer to your problems is the man that you are pouring into. Um, and you're giving your resources, you're giving your so-called tithes and offerings and you believe in that somehow this money is going to come in some form of reciprocation um, that, you know, the Lord himself is going to bless you because you blessing the pastor. And a lot of you all have been fooled. You've been hoodwinked. You've been bamboozled by these churches. And, you know, they're pretty much. They're swindling you. Um, they're robbing you. And you need to know that. I'm going to tell you how the most high really works. Now, I've discussed this quite a few times about how I've um, I challenged the most high by keeping the law, statutes and commandments. And the scriptures told me that if I do honor his laws, all things shall be added unto me. And in the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it talks about curses and it talks about blessings. Now, the blessings are that you will be the head and not the tail you would be the lender and not the borrower you would be above and not beneath your storehouse would be full you would be plenteous in goods um you would begin to excel in all your endeavors everything you touch would literally turn into gold pure gold and to a degree i've seen that to a degree but some of the religious stigma was still overshadowing my true potentials and a lot of you brothers and sisters are guilty of the very same because for some reason we've been so traumatized in our struggle that often we associate our struggle with godliness and righteousness and we associate poverty having to do without with somehow being closer to the most high and you couldn't be no further from the truth See, we look at celebrities, we, we, some of us are envious of them because they have riches and they have earthly possessions. Nowhere in the scriptures did it say there's something wrong with having these things. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say it's wrong to be plenteous, to be fruitful. But somehow in the Israelite community in particular, we associate the struggle the constant struggle with righteousness and it's just false. It's a lie from the depths of hell. Do you understand? It's a lie from the depths of hell and this is what you need to know. You don't put no man over you. Your blessings come from the heavens. Listen, the Bible says that if you keep your mind on the things of the heavens, all things shall be added unto you. 
It didn't tell you to keep your eyes and mind on this pastor or that pastor or this pastor or this preacher or this deacon and this bishop and all things shall be added unto you. It's nowhere there. It's not there. You are literally pouring into another person's empire. And this is what I've learned about real men of the most high. This is what I've learned. I've been sitting back and I've been watching everything go on um, on social media as well as I watch certain um, certain TV shows such as uh, what's the one BMF let's use this for example peep this BMF black mafia family if you're unaware you know there's a TV show that's produced by 50 cent it comes on and it uh, it shows us the famous drug cartel that came together and they was eating. I mean, they was eating, eating. Uh, everywhere between Atlantic Pacific all the way from Detroit to, I mean, everywhere, they eating. Now these people are of the world because of course, they're harming their people, they're selling drugs, they're, you know what I'm saying, they doing what they doing, they're beefing with rival gangs, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're ruin our, ruining our community. But the way they went about their business, the way iron sharpened iron on the left-hand side, the way they came up with this conglomerate, how efficient they were, you, can, you, can, you, you have to marvel at that. Now, if men who say they are who they say they are, they're mighty men of the most high, they're chosen ones. They're men of truth, men of substance, intellects, full of wisdom, full of valor, valor. Every single man should be eaten. Every single man should be generating streams of revenue. Every single man should have buildings upon buildings. We should have homes upon homes. Everybody should be eaten. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Not because everybody come in it wealthy, not because of that, but because it's so much wisdom there. So many brothers can build and feed off of each other and take each other's advice. That advice that you can give a brother and they actually take heed and everybody moving things around, moving money around and, and doing different things and coming up with different ideas for the greater good. Everybody should be blessed. Everybody should be blessed. Everybody should be eaten. That's how BMF was successful. And that's on the left hand side. I'm telling you, man. When you see real men of the most high sit around the round table and congregate, it is over. Do you understand? It's over. And I mean, in a good way, in a good way. It's over in a good way, meaning you're going to see fruits. You're going to see things manifest. <coughs> you're going to see things happen. See, poverty is a mindset. Poverty is a malignant root. Poverty is a poison. Poverty should be shunned upon. Do you understand? If we say, if we are who we say we are, we should not be relating struggle to righteousness. <coughs> it shouldn't be happening. Listen, I want to talk about, pardon me, let me, let me drink some more of this water because I'm amped up about this topic. Though I want to talk about opportunity, understanding opportunity. <coughs> Understanding how to move in wisdom when opportunity is granted. How not to squander your blessings. <coughs> Listen. The pollen out here. The religious spirit is not moving wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. The religious spirit is offensive 
the religious spirit will squander your blessings. The religious spirit will ruin your opportunities out here. And shout out to Ringo TV Reactions because this is right. This topic right here is right in lines of of some of the things that we've been seeing um, in regards to the exposure, the total debacle of straightway uh, ministries. Um, Brothers is learning so much. And I, and I truly believe that it's a new level of truth right now. I believe that that we're on like an ascension phase at the moment where things are really going to be, you know, brought to the forefront and things are the, things are going to come to fruition. Why? Because the wisdom is there. We are learning from those who made mistakes before us. There's no reason why a man should be given another man his whole entire paycheck and scrounging and working that is crazy y'all and that's what's going on over at that ministry grown men giving up their whole paychecks that's not of the most high so you mean to tell me bmf they can come together black mafia family in the vein of dealing drugs and hustling and bustling and they can they can make sure as one hand washes the other and all the bosses everybody eating but men of truth can't do that that's crazy you know what I mean that means they don't have the ingenuity they don't have the ability they don't have the skill set they don't have the mind frame and they don't have the most high that's not the most high and you know and they'll lie and tell you like you know we're supposed to be the common man and, and this, that, and the third, and everything is common to, and, and, and we gotta we gotta struggle. It's all about the fight and struggle. What what about the reward? I thought Deuteronomy 28 said there'd be rewards. Something you can own. Something that you can call yours. I'm telling you, man. Y'all wanna know how the most high really work? Some of y'all are so connected to poverty. That you're not thinking your way out of the situation you in you lay in stagnant you're, you're afraid to take chances you are afraid to take a, advantage of opportunities when they're presented you know and and it's a real problem within the so-called israelite community the religious community the christian community y'all are afraid you're not moving in wisdom right let me let me put it out here like this this is how god really works he don't just deliver blessings at your front door. He don't just, after years of you tithing and giving offerings to a pastor or a preacher, he don't just all of a sudden come to your front door with a million dollars and say, you've been a blessed servant um, because you've been pouring into this person or that person. That's not how the most high work. In order to make a blessing come true, you got to pray on it, lay on it. You got to you got to envision you yourself having it before you even have it. Now, am I talking about some new age stuff? No, I'm not talking about getting no manifestation journal or nothing like that. I'm literally talking about you envisioning it. You can call it what you want to call it. Seeing this thing in your rear view, having real faith, real faith. I'm talking about practicing whatever your respective skill is working avidly i mean being consistent consistency most high don't just drop he don't just drop rewards in front of you when there's opportunity and you see the opportunity you got to visualize you got to work hard you got to drive towards that you got to dedication is key dedication consistency hard work labor yeah that's key but it can't be for the wrong cause and that's where wisdom kicks in. That's where discernment comes, comes in, comes to play. When you know that you are fighting for a righteous cause and you're not afraid because all your intentions are pure and you know the most high hands is in that. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's how we gotta be. Because like, listen man, there's no reason why we can't have communities, our own, our own black Wall Street, 
bigger than Black Wall Street. I don't like you know you see Chinatown, you see all these towns. It ain't no it ain't no limits to what the most highest people can do. You got to keep in mind the prophets of old, the the people that we still talk about of talk about to this day. Some of them were kings. Some of them were rich. Some of them had a lot of a lot of land, a lot of everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And you know, one thing about it, a lot of brothers and sisters got to get out of that religious spirit. It just, it's a horrible spirit to be under. Like, first of all, all you brothers who claim you in the truth, you got to be about your business, about your business. Business come first. And I, and I know that there's a veil being lifted because there was a time where I didn't want to outsource with other people. I didn't want to work with this one or work with that one. My mind frame has changed. You know why? You know why? Because I'm growing wiser. The religious bondage is being broke on real men of truth. Because it's such a stain that was on us. And, and it, may have, it may have happened through poverty. It may have happened through hard times where we associate that with righteousness. It's wicked to be in poverty. They over there in straight way giving these men $50 siphons and $100 siphons to take care of their families. That's poverty. No matter how you slice it, that's poverty. I don't care if everything is provided for. Hell, you can go to jail and, and get a, a, a siphon and everything is provided for you. Room, clothes, shelter, all of it. That's sick. That's literally, listen, that is sick. That's literally exploitation of God's people. That's a cult. That's like, that's like nature boy in them. That ain't no damn different than carbonation. If you supposed to be men of the most high, why y'all ain't, why everybody ain't eating the way they supposed to be eating? You gotta go to another grown ass man to ask for an allowance. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, yo, me and my family, we need, you know, me, me and my family, we need an extra loaf of bread. Pastor, you think you, think you can get us an extra loaf? Grown ass men getting allowances. You think that's how a community's supposed to be ran? Aha! Uh -huh. That's pure evil. That's sick. Do you understand that is sick, y'all? That's what happened when you really don't respect your people. That's what happened when you really don't respect your people, for real. Yeah, somebody said that's like communism out here. That is wild. If that ain't the most, if that ain't the most inflammatory evidence that ever came out on somebody who's claiming to be the most highest people leading being a shepherd to the most high saints if that ain't y'all it is what it is real people understand what i'm talking about right now iron sharpened iron that ain't how god works let me tell you something each and every man can have his own in his respective right if he's really tapped in if he's tapped in with the holy spirit he's moving in wisdom wisdom and he's and he's really you know wise enough to 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 do business the right way all of that is important man god don't work like you religious uh catholic christian have israelite have catholic christians think he work that's not how the most high works now, I'm not saying that everybody got to be a multimillionaire. I'm not saying that everybody got to, you know, have everything, but everybody should have something that they can call their own. And, and as Israelite men, you got to be about your business. It's a reason why the country you live in had something called church versus state. There's a, there's a reason why that church versus state was implemented because you cannot mix church and state. It's a bad combination. 
Yo, Rollo, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Says, speaking that real, none among you shall live in poverty. They on the left, poverty minded. We not every man, and we every man is his own boss and winning. Real men recognize, keep the winning, let's go. Absolutely. And that's 100% facts. Real recognize real, man. And you should want to see all your brothers eating. And, and anybody who's in the in the WhatsApp group, be sure to share this broadcast. These broadcasts that I'm putting out now, make sure that we're sharing that amongst the brethren because, listen, the mind frames have to change, especially with you young brothers. There's something called passive income. You got to get on, on board with figuring out different methods to get in passive income. Listen, let me tell you something. There's a whole lot of of money out there to be made do you understand it's so much money to be made but the issue is we've been building for the wrong people there's so many avenues of getting getting money listen you brothers all you need and rollo been speaking this all you brothers need is is a car rent that out throw that on toro you know what i'm saying you you got you got different investments. You 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 putting different ideas to the table. Go get those LLCs, brothers. Go get those LLCs so you can get some of those grants. I'm not talking about loans. I'm talking about grants. Find out the different grants that you brothers can get a hold on while you're young. Do you understand? Start start being become becoming more business savvy. See, we wasn't taught all these things. We wasn't taught all these things. These are the type of classes that we should be having. If we're going to have any type of setting, like a class on, on any land or any community, it should be business classes. It should be how to start your LLC. You know, what type of investment should we make? How do we move accordingly? That's what it should be about. That's what we need to be talking about as men. How to have longevity for our families. Because without that, without that, it ain't it ain't nothing. You understand? Cause you can say what you want, but money it 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 is needed. Matter of fact, if somebody can't pull a scripture where it says money is a defense, money is a defense. Also, there's another scripture that says money solve all things. Pull that up so I can explain what it means. So I can explain what it means when it says money solve all things. Let me see. I might have to walk around because they a little bit loud out here. Let me see. It says, let me see if I can get that scripture. Yeah, we got to have financial literacy classes and things of that nature. Workshops. Boom, here we go. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. For wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is the wisdom giveth life to them that have it yep see you got to have the knowledge knowing practical application money is a defense but there's another scripture that says money solve of all things i want somebody to find that scripture and i'm gonna explain what that means now see it says money is a defense but knowledge is more important why because you have to know what to do with the money fools can have a lot of money and squander their blessings here we go right here. Uh, thanks, Ring. I appreciate it. Ecclesiastes 10 and 19. A feast is made for laughter and wine make of merry, but money answereth all things. It answereth all things. All things? No, nah, new breed. Money answereth some things. No. All things. Now, what, that, what does that mean? All things pertaining to tangible solutions. Now, of course, money can't solve a corrupted spirit. That's why you got people like Dow who's taking everybody money and still ain't satisfied, still angry, still projecting on people, still running around beating his chest. You know why? Because he ain't satisfied. So money don't solve spiritual deficiencies, but money can solve all things tangibly. Meaning, guess what? If we need, if we need a home built for a family, that's going to take a budget. 
look, we're going to be doing our land walk. We're going to need, you know, we're going to have to do, deal with our septic real soon. You're going to need money. That's going to solve the problem. Why? Because even if you don't have too many people, you can hire a company to come out there and build. You can outsource and be like, look, I got the, I got the capital to pay for somebody on the outside to build, even if it ain't with people that I would rather build with and uh, none of that. But guess what? The money just solved that problem. So like th this is what these preachers and pastors ain't talking, telling you they know this information, but they want your money. They're not trying to make you better. They're not trying to give you the answer so you can get it. You got a lot of these Christians and cult leaders and camp leaders who are just hoarders of souls. And they all about getting their resources and line in their pockets. That ain't how God works. You want to know how God really works? Tell you how God works. God works through wise men. He don't work through fools. He don't work with the foolish. Ecclesiastes 10 and 19. Oh, they, they put that up there again. Let's read it one more time. A feast is made for laughter and wine make of merry, but money answereth all things. This is why people should be putting their money together. Not one man giving another man an allowance. Imagine that you a grown man asking for an allowance. That is insane. That's the craziest thing I've seen all year. That's the craziest thing I've seen all year. That's wild. You know how wild that is? Um, Ecclesiastics 11 and 1. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. That's talking about, yep, investing. That is investing. And see, and this is what we really need to be discussing as men. Because men, let me tell you, let me explain this. Men should be about their bread, bro. You should be about getting to it. Forget all that religious nonsense. I remember when I first started monetizing on YouTube, people had a problem with that because you know why? Listen, religious folks, what I've learned, religious folks don't want you to have nothing. Nada. Religious people, they equivalent you being broke and hurt and in poverty. They equivalent, equivalent that to righteousness. I done seen them say all kind of disparaging stuff. When I started my Patreon, I can remember like it was yesterday. They was get, watching my videos, getting all kind of insight, all kind of knowledge. When I started my Patreon, everybody had a problem with that. You selling the truth. You doing this. You doing that. Well, you should just give it to me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me free. And, and I, so I, what? I could be just broke in the dark hurting? So my family won't have nothing? Is that what you think about a brother who is pouring into you with truth? And you got a lot of people out here who ain't going to never be nothing because they pocket watchers. They ain't going to never amount to nothing because they too busy looking at somebody else's business. There's another scripture in Proverbs where it tell you that a man should focus on his own business, his own business. But people don't want to see you eating. That ain't of the most high. A person who don't want to see you be able to feed your family. That's of Satan. That's of the devil. Do you understand? That's of Beelzebub. That's Lucifer right there. A mug, a person who don't want to see you. There's a lizard over there. A person that don't want to see you uh, provide for your family. Proverbs 21 and 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Don't be like those yes men over there. They're going to be broke for a long time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's very true. That's how the most high really work. If you got if you don't have discipline, if you a lover of pleasure more than a lover of the most high, because see, if you love the most high, he's going to give you purpose. He's going to give you a stride. He's going to give you motivation to do what you got to do even when you're tired. That's the most high. When you don't feel like doing something and you know it needs to be done and you don't procrastinate and that spirit ignites in you and you put in that hard work, that's the most high. That's discipline. 
But if you a lover of pleasure, if you sitting around watching corn, if you sitting around, you know, smoking, smoking tree all day, drinking all day, eating all day, you know what I'm saying? You're not able to even function at the right capacity to get the job done. Why? Because that's of the devil right there. That's of the devil. Or if you just pouring in, if you putting your work in the wrong cause, if you choosing the wrong cause to fight for, why would the most high bless that? You're not being obedient to him. You're being obedient to another man. And that's why I said in my previous video regarding having honor amongst men that you can be selfish as men. Be, and what I mean by that is selfish when it comes to you and yours. We want brothers like that. Brothers who sign up to be a part of our land initiative, we want you to be opportunistic because it's a great opportunity. And I mean opportunistic in a sense of, yo, I want longevity, I want legacy, I want dynasty for my family. And most of all, I want the opportunity to be around great minds. Listen, never underestimate the value. Brothers, I'm preaching to y'all right now. Never underestimate the value of being around great minds. It's priceless. You know what's priceless? information priceless knowledge information information build a nation do you understand if you got people who are willing to apply said information bro i don't get it you just even being in the company in the presence of those people that is already catapulting you to another level and i'm not talking about on some self-help books trying to sell some self-help books and all of that and some type of ponzi scheme and nah you don't have to do all that when you see we what we develop it with unlimited potentials there's an opportunity there for you to build without all of that red tape without a person who just got their hand out yeah somebody says the energy exchange right the way you're able to be successful is the company you keep, the people you around. This is why the scriptures say evil communication corrupt good manner. If you surrounded by bozos, weirdos, haters, perps, niggas who don't want to see you do nothing, trolls, you know, low life scumbags, you're not going anywhere. Listen, 2024, you got to surround yourself with top tier, best of the best type of people. Get them bammers out your life, bro. Get them gups and them dummies out your life. Get them yes men out your life. Because you don't need that in your life either. You don't need people, you need people who wanna sharpen you. You need people who will tell you like it is so you can be a greater version of yourself. That's how God really works. That's how God really works. God works through offenses. Yeah, God offends people. God will challenge your perceptions. God will make you check yourself. God will make you uncomfortable so you can maneuver properly. Y'all want to know how God really works? That's how God works. Ecclesiastes 27 and 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. Man, that book of Ecclesiasticus and Ecclesiastes is speaking today. The Bible is validating and verifying everything we're saying. Proverbs 1 and 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Exactly. That's why I say, man, you got to understand opportunity. You got to understand when you're in the midst of wise counsel. And you got to be able to make sure those things result in, result in blessings, resulting blessings. You don't absorb all this information, all this knowledge, all these scriptures so you can be in poverty. That's crazy. Don't think for a second that you sit up here and learn all these Bible verses, all these scriptures, chapter and verse, and all these things so you can be poor for the rest of your life. That's insane. That means the Bible, if that's the case, if that's how you look at the Bible, the Bible is a waste of your time. And you have not comprehended what's in the scriptures at all. 
And I think you need to go back to the basics where it talks about the blessings. Because if you truly honor the word, those blessings will come. That's real talk. Somebody said he's gone. No nonsense in the chat. All right, thanks, thanks to the moderators. Um, somebody says facts. I will tap in soon. What help is all about the most high all respect. Yeah, I mean, you know, the most high has his, his timing. And somebody said it. You have to have qua quality over quantity people. Quality over quantity people. You don't need to be around everybody all the time. The most high works with key players in this. You got to have key players in your life. I'm telling you, man, you got, man, y'all got to open y'all's eyes, man. Y'all got to open y'all's eyes. Age don't necessarily mean wisdom either. Because I see what's going on over there. People believe that because a person that is a certain age, that equals wisdom. And it doesn't. Each man supposed to know these things. Mark 11 and 24. Therefore, I say unto you. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall receive them. Is that not Bible? Did it tell you to go ask another man for an allowance? Did it tell you that you need a daily siphon? Did it tell you to go, sheesh. Did it tell you that you need to, um, he's wasping bees and all that out here. But does it tell you, you need to um, give give to a pastor tithe and offering for him to answer your prayers do it say that does the bible tell you that you gotta sow into another man for him to answer your prayers or does it say pray to him who y'all praying to see this is what the pastors and preachers don't want you to hear these are the scriptures they don't want you to go through <laughs> Yeah, Moshe said it. Exactly. Gray hair doesn't always mean wisdom. You have a lot of old buffoons walking around here. That's a fact. That's a fact. And they always expose themselves. Because they don't know how to conduct themselves. You see, you, you begin to see how who you, you begin to see they ain't all that bright that they Neanderthals. You begin to see that they Neanderthals. They ain't all that bright. They ain't as smart as they think they are. And it be always be the prideful people, puffed up, that think they the, the wisest and most intelligent person in the room. And you're not. You're not. You know why? Because you're not humble enough. Let me tell you something. The best, the best teachers are even better students. The best teachers are even better students now mar mar you know marinate on that first timothy 6 man y'all coming with them verses first timothy 6 and 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they are that they be not high-minded no nor trust in uncertain riches but in living of god wow who give us us richly all things to enjoy bam y'all hear that straightway let me read that again Let's read that one more time. <laughs> Yo, charge them that are rich in the world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. Meaning somebody saying, I'm going to give you an allowance. You get I seen one guy he interviewed and they were saying the, the guy was saying. Um, How much money I, I, I give you back after you give me your check, and he named different numbers. Well, Pastor, I, if I give you 600, you may give me 200 back and 300 back or 100 back. That's called uncertain riches. That's uncertainty. So you mean to tell me you're going to hand this man your money, he's going to count your money and decide on the spot what he's going to give you back. Y'all think that's up the most high. The scriptures tell you, charge them that are rich in the world, that they be not high minded. This is his charge. Nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, but in who? In the most high, not a pastor, not a preacher, not a bishop, not a deacon, but in who? The living God, who give us us richly all things to enjoy. Man, y'all, do y'all know how God really work or not? Do you know how God really works?
See, man, there's we there's another level of this awakening that is really coming to the forefront right now. And I shout out brothers like Ringo for addressing the situation over there with with um with Dow and them and straightway because that just it shook a hornet's nest and it really is opening a lot of people's eyes and it's also taking the limitations off of people and and i want to hear when we do our next zoom meeting with the brethren um brothers y'all got to come with that energy you got to come with that energy and understand that you a man with a plan each and every last one of you brothers who are involved you are a man with a plan and you will be successful it's not even a question you will be prosperous in that community not because somebody is giving you something no you're going to earn it you're going to earn it you're going to earn it because you're going to be attentive and you're going to be full of wisdom that's coming coming from those around you and you're going to make all the right moves shout out to florida and rollo a lot of the young brothers they moved out there to florida and guess what happened he gave them information that they applied and some of those brothers are doing well over there they're doing well you know why because that's how the most high god really works that's how he really works you should want to be around brothers in truth because you want success because you want that success is that selfish? No. You can call it what you want to call it. That's you being a man. Being wise. Somebody said respectfully, y'all once was a student of Dow. Y'all have a problem. Give him a call. Um, Get that person out of here. Ain't nobody giving that, that dude no call. Get out of here. What are you talking about? What makes you think I'm a student of Dow? Let me get you out of here. Shows how much you know. I didn't even know about Pastor Dow until like a, a, a year ago or so. A, a year and a half ago. What are you talking about? I've been here since 2009. What are you talking about? I didn't even know about that dude until like a couple years ago. And I watched him on and off. Never really agreed with his doctrines. All I seen was the community. Yes, I was influenced by the community, but I'm not no damn student of Dow. What are you talking about? Making all these damn assumptions. That's crazy. I got that person out of here. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. The moderators, they quick on that. Like, get out of here. Talking ignorant. Don't even know what you're saying. I'm a student of the Most High. I'm a student of Christ. I'm a student of the biblical patriarchs. I'm a student of the Bible. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of brothers put him on. What do you you don't even know the history? Ringo put him on. You don't even know the history. That's why Ringo was able to destroy him. Because he put him on. You don't even know the history. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Y'all just be talking. Y'all just be talking on social media. Somebody said, uh, hallelujah, the situation is wild. No, nah, the situation is just revealing. The situation is just revealing. Uh, Floridian, thanks for the five says, to that troll, is he teaching brothers to make 1K or more a week? No, we over here want men to build better for the Lord, family and legacy. Chump, yeah, get that, get that man out of here, man. Get that man out of here. We're not out here taking people's paychecks. 
we're literally right now what you're hearing right now is we're in the public quarters revamping everything that we've been taught we are literally wiping the dirty stain of religion off of us and going out here and being successful that's what we're doing we're literally breaking the curse right now and every brother who's listening this should inspire you and intrigue you and, and, and allow you to understand that you are the leader of your respective home and you have all the ability and wherewithal to, to be successful. You need to believe that. Especially if you bump in so shoulders with the right people. If you bump in shoulders with the right people, you know what it is. And I can assure you, the circle of brothers that I build with, all of them, top tier men of truth. That's how I know I'm going to be successful. I know I'm going to be successful. It ain't even a question. Do you understand? It ain't even a question. And I knew that even before. Just to, I knew I was going to be successful even before having a circle of, of righteous men. You know why? Because I was relying on the most high. But now that the dirty ways of the church and these cults and how they've been fleecing the flock and things like that are being exposed, I no longer look at things the same. I'm being totally frank with you. I don't look at things the same. Proverbs 22 and 4, true humility and fear of the Lord leads to riches, honor, and long life. Let's read it again. True humility, true humility, and fear of the Lord leads to riches, honor, and long life true humility what's true humility when you can be a student of truth when you not when you don't have that crab mentality some of y'all around too many crabs man some of some of y'all around too many people who putting a limit on where you can go and for the life of you you won't get them out your life i don't understand it they don't want to see you win like you casting your pearls before swine. Some of y'all telling y'all's information of people who just want to cast spells on what you want to do. You got to be wise with information too, man. That's another thing I'm learning. You got to be very wise. Because some of y'all going to get canceled out here because before you even get started with you, what you're going to build, you're telling people who don't want to see you win. You, you telling people who don't want to see you win. And that's why in this time, man, you got to understand how desperate a lot of people are. And you got to look at what people do during desperate times. You, you really get to see who people are now, man. 2024 is wild. 2024 is like, man, at first I ain't know how I felt about this year. I did feel like, yo, it's going to be a lot revealed. Like, God's real chosen people, the most high people, they, I know we going to see things. I, I, I felt revelation coming. Like, we're going to be, some things the most high going to be revealing to us. And lo and behold, bro, it ain't, man, this year has been, been very interesting. The spells are being broke. The lies that our former leaders, not my leader, some of y'all's leaders, not my leader, not no brothers in truth leader because we were following the most high the whole time. But seeing this thing come out, man, and, and seeing what's going on, it's real out here. Somebody said way too wild, everybody a demon and and unafraid of the Lord. Yeah, they they not afraid. Um, they not afraid of the Most High, right? They afraid of man. Uh, somebody said, "Breed does skin color matter?" No. No skin color doesn't matter. Not at all. And that's what I'm talking about. The religious, bro. Let me let me make this clear because uh, this is this is very needed right now. First of all, when we did our first land walk, we had brothers of all walks of life that was there. And if you followed my channel for any amount of time, you should know that I'm, I'm not associated 
even loosely, even loosely with these pro-black um, militant radical groups. I've never been into that. I'm just a, I, I'm a person who believes in the Bible. Those are my personal beliefs. The Bible is not a racist book. It's a history book of truth that give you instructions on how to live. That's it. I'm not here to try to, I'm not here to try to push my, my thoughts on you, but if you watch me, of course it's going to come out because that's what I study. That's the type of lifestyle I live. But when it comes to business and when it comes to getting things done, you know, I'm willing to work with anybody, anybody to get the job done. Because long as the money's right, then the, the, the answer to the problem will be solved. Like the scripture says, as long as the money right, the answer will be, will be done. Of course, we ain't compromising our code of conducts. We ain't co compromising our ethics and we ain't selling our souls. We're not doing anything that's immoral. But at the end of the day, who, we working with people who we're going to work with. I remember one stream, I'm talking about the land, and some brother comes in and says, why we, he goes, why we letting Gentiles? Why we? A person that's online who ain't helped us do nothing, but he, we, 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 how we, why we ain't, do, hold on, I, I, I don't even know who you are. Who is we? <laughs> so it's like people got a lot of audacity. Don't bring that religious, racist nonsense around me. Don't bring that around me. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Somebody said uh, Psalms 112 and 3. Wealth and riches shall be in the house and his house and his righteousness endure forever. Right, let's read that again. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness shall endure forever. I mean, is there something wrong with having wealth and riches? When the Bible is telling you that that is literally a staple of righteousness. It got so bad as straightway brothers couldn't own no Jordans. Brothers had to hide their Jordans, hide their firearms. That's how bad it is. That's how struggly it is over there. That's how struggly it is. A man not even, it's so struggly. The peep this, it's so struggly over there. They literally looking at what a man got in his house. Yo, y'all should be embarrassed. <laughs> the whole, com not, I mean, the leadership should be really embarrassed, bro. Y'all should be really embarrassed that all this came out. And stop doing videos, just be quiet, just disappear, just go away. Just go away. Get off the internet. This this is the next call to action. Get off the internet. Go away and just keep on fleecing your little coat. Because in all the power invested in brothers and truth, we gonna make sure don't nobody go over there. We gonna make sure don't nobody go over there. And all the power that is invested in us and, and mind, body, and soul, we gonna make sure y'all don't get involved in that coat. I promise you. I promise you. And we all on one accord with this. So I advise y'all to just stop making videos. Be quiet. Don't say nothing else. Stay to yourselves and, and just fleece them little people in that coat. Because the, the Internet ain't trying to hear that. Y'all been exposed. That ain't how that ain't how men operate. That ain't how we do business. It's crazy how that thing, how, how it can look so good on the outside and be so damn wicked. That ain't how that ain't how that ain't how things go. Not at all. And no stretch of the imagination. Yeah, a damn pyramid scheme. And I ain't and all that flexing and boasting and bragging and I wanna fight this one and fight that one. Ain't nobody scared, bruh. Ain't nobody scared of Johnny Bravo over there. Ain't nobody, Crash Bandicoot can talk all the crazy, all the, all the trash you want to talk. Ain't nobody scared. We just trying to make sure the people straight. Yeah, man. Wild. It's wild. <laughs>
I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all want to know how the most high really work? He want us to be wealthy. He want, he want us to show you how to fish. Do you hear what I just said? He want us to show you how to fish. I'm telling you, the religious stuff is horrible. It's like a cancer. It's so bad, you got Israelite camps on the streets teaching homeless people, but they ain't giving them no bread, no food, no water, no nothing. They posted up on the same block that people sleep on, and they out there breathe. Nobody want to hear the Bible when they ain't got food in their stomach. You're not even entreating these men. It's embarrassing. Nobody, nobody want to hear no scriptures and they ain't got no food on their plate. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> but that's what they out here doing. That's what they doing because religion is like the new crack. It's like they're using the Bible like dope. They slanging scriptures like crack. And they're not doing nothing for the people. They're not really about their business. They just trying to hoard souls. It's all of it's literally these camps, congregations, churches, they playing soul caliber, bro. They're literally playing soul caliber. Let's tote these scriptures to the poor and make them believe that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to tote these scriptures to the poor and make them believe if they come join our camp, our congregation, if they fall under us, under our leadership, then, you know, they're going to be blessed one day. This is the answer over here. Now, some of them escape y'all's clutches and end up really, truly being blessed. Really, truly being blessed. And some of them just be worker bees, worker ants for y'all. And let me make this clear, and there's nothing wrong with having different positions within an empire, you know, especially if, let me make this clear, especially if, like, let me give you a scenario. The people who are getting involved with our land development early on, they're going to have, they're going to have more, I would say, opportunity to begin with. Why? Because they were there from the beginning. They wasn't stagnant. They didn't wait. They didn't sit back. They joined the initiatives. And of course, listen, when it comes to building, listen, nobody comes empty handed. See, I'm, I'm adding balance to this. Nobody comes empty handed when y'all building together. Especially, you know, if people watch things flourish and manifest, you, just, you don't just come in and you wasn't of any assistance and you just come without nothing that you can offer to the table. But it's a difference between that and a man just literally ruling and ruling over the souls of the people like he's their daddy. Like you got here, you got to get allowance. You and your family need something. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I don't understand how any woman. Bro, I don't understand how any woman in her right mind can follow any of those guys in straight way when they got to go to another man for an allowance. Like they preteens. I, I don't I don't I don't get it. How could you look at your husband as a man? And I'm not trying to sow discord in them households, but something is wrong with that. Dow has to be your surrogate husband in your mind. He has to be. He has to be your surrogate husband. That, that, that's just common sense. You see in your man, you know, man, that, that meeting that they put out was supposed to be damage control and it was so inflammatory. It was horrible. It was horrible. And then there was one part where they were talking about, um, <laughs> bro, it's crazy. They were talking about something on the lines of, you know, we'll give you a little, a, a little money here for allowance so you can go take your woman out so y'all can have a night on the town. So, so y'all, so you and your wife can go, you know, parlay and, you know, we'll watch the kids, you know, we'll set up the babysitters and all of that, you know, let now peep this out of the money that you gave. I'm going to give you an allowance out of your paycheck that you gave me. 
You hear how crazy this sound, y'all? I'm going to take your paycheck and I'm going to give you an allowance out of your paycheck so you can go take your wife out and go buy and take her, take her to dinner. <laughs> Sheesh. He released that to the public? Bro, 2024 is wild, bro. Now, what, what real men are true going to sit around and watch that and not say nothing, bro? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's wild, bro. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Y'all get the likes up over a thousand. Let's get to it. It drives the traffic and the algorithm. We are promoting awareness. And you know what I'm saying? We putting the truth out there. Yeah, man. And look, that ain't how God works. Y'all want to know how God really works? Y'all wanna know how the most I really work? Yeah, 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 Rico TV. That that was a part of the video. They actually gotta go get get the babysitter. They gotta ask for a, a, a daily, a, a, an allowance. I wanted to call it a siphon, but an allowance just to go take their wives out and they'll have somebody watch the kids. And all. I, I watched that part, I say, yo, nah, bruh. That, that's so far out of pocket. Somebody said you will be bound in hell taking another man's paycheck for his labor. Real talk. And they not owning anything. Not owning it. Listen, let me tell you something. You better off just having that as a resort. That's what that's what you better off doing. Making it like a resort. A vacation spot. Somebody said... Matthew 19, 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. See, here we go. With a person who put a scripture up and don't really understand the full context of that said scripture. Because, and this is what I'm talking about. And number one, the Bible tell you not to build a doctrine off of one scripture. Now we just listed a plethora we lift first off before we break that scripture down we just put a plethora of scriptures up on how the most high does want you to be rich he does want you to be plenteous he does want you to be blessed that is actually a sign of righteousness when you persevering when you eating good when you're successful that's actually the most high's working and doing but you put it's harder to enter and I don't know why you put that scripture up. And I, and I think it's because it's this religious spirit. And I'm not condemning and I'm not judging and I'm not attacking the person who posted it because you just posted a scripture. But for the onlookers, for the, on, the onlookers, they'll say, well, what does that mean? Let me tell you. So when you go to something called context, context, that, that scripture was involving, that scripture was involving a rich ruler who the Most High was asking, I mean, not the Most High, but Christ was asking that rich ruler to give something to the poor, to give something. That rich ruler's heart was hardened. So although he was rich, he had a hardened heart. He didn't even want to give nothing up. That's when Christ said, you know, it's, it's, more, it's more difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven through the eye of a needle. That's the context. That's the context. He want us to be rich in goods. Like, that's real talk. Let me see what scripture is that right here. Um, 3 John 1 and 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thou soul prospers. Absolutely. Most how wants us to prosper. Just like our health, everything. He wants us to be totally totally blessed do you understand don't use scripture to to make yourself believe that there's a limit nah man we should want great things we royal people right how are we gonna say we royal people and we don't want to live in palaces you know why america looks so trash because of the mindset america looks trash compared to korea uh compared to um like 
places like um what's that one place where you can't go over there playing the women can't go over there playing because they got certain laws um i want to say is it alba dhabi not alba dhabi um y'all know the name of it y'all listed in the chat there's certain places that look beautiful dubai dubai that's it you know johannesburg look beautiful like you know why you know why those places i'm gonna tell you why those places flourish why they look the way they look they're beautiful compared to america it's beautiful i'm gonna tell you why because they don't have a poor mentality they don't they don't equivalent religion to suffering and struggling like the baptist church did to us because when we were going through our struggle when we were going through our struggle bro the church was like um yeah, man it was like a real toxic toxic environment because in one breath it was a cornerstone it was something we leaned on we trauma bonded with the churches but they were but we were being led by thieves we were being led by filthy scoundrels who was just doing things for filthy lucre so we were never able to excel and we fell in love with poverty I'm telling you bro let me see Deuteronomy 28 and 11 and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy cattle exactly plenteous in goods that's material possessions y'all and if you're talking about cattle back then that was of great value that was of great value now what's of great value now homes cars vehicles studios buildings um gold silver um like like you really got to use your mind do you know that the disciples had a ship that they were selling on do you know what a ship would be equivalent to right now see i'm about to blow your mind on what you think about the bible land exactly land do you know what a ship would be equivalent to them having a ship back then a private jet a ship that can house 12 men um all their fishing supplies their fishing gear all the things that the disciples had on that said ship all the cargo that they was carrying a ship that actually went through a, a massive storm in the scriptures y'all remember when christ was like ye of little faith because people was panicking the disciples was panicking over, over the storm now this ship would be equivalent to a private jet and are we are we here to say and but guess what christ ain't have a home but him and his disciples they put things they put their resources together to do what to do the ministry to do what they needed to do they put their resources together to do what was ne you know necessary for the mission so i don't want to hear that like stop limiting yourself he wants you to be great plenteous and goods he wants us to live in in, in palaces and castles and, and 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 big beautiful mansions bro that's what the most high want for his people y'all too busy waiting to go to heaven that's the problem that's what that's what uh christianity got you doing waiting i'm gonna I'm get my blessings in heaven yeah you get blessings in heaven too but listen you ain't you're actually not even going to heaven because the heaven technically the heavens is for the most high that's his place for him and his angels the bible says it'll be a new heaven and a, and a what ladies and gentlemen and a new earth a new heaven and a new earth and it tells you what it's going to be structured like. It tells you what it's going to look like. And it also tells you in the scripture, somebody pull us up, where it says the kingdom of heaven is with man. Pull that up. Somebody please get the scripture where it says the kingdom of heaven is with man. So we can get out of this delusional mindset that's being taught. Man, the chat is sharing scripture at the scripture. <clears throat> Let's see. It says the substance also, and this is Job 1 and 3. His substance also was 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 
and 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. That sound plenteous. That sound plenteous. <coughs> that sounds remarkable. Boom. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn allergies, y'all. It says in Luke 17 and 21. Boom, there we go. Neither shall they say, lo, here or lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. No longer shall we say, there. Lo, here. Lo, there. The kingdom of heaven is where? Bruh. Bruh. Bro. Y'all want to know how God really works? The kingdom of heaven is within you. It's, it's, in, it's within you. All the things that you can manifest here on this planet. It can be heaven. See, heaven is more than what you understand or comprehend. There's, there's states of heaven, stages of heaven. You can be kicking it on the beach in Jamaica, kicking back, sipping a daiquiri with beautiful women swimming around you, having a good time. At that moment, you're in heaven. You can be uh, sitting in front of your, your big screen TV, you know, and, and just enjoying yourself. You're in heaven at that moment. So you got to understand what heaven is, the concept known as heaven. Heaven also is the skies, the heavens, the physical skies. You can look up into the heavens. That's how it's depicted in the scriptures. And also the heavens as a housing place for the most high. Many different forms of heaven, just like it's many different forms of hell. It's like some of y'all believe that you gotta have one foot in hell and one foot in heaven, and that's balance. That's that's not that's that doesn't make sense. Some of y'all think you gotta have you gotta be going through hell your whole life. Half of your spirit have to deal with torment and hell and poverty, but you get that little piece of heaven when your preacher start pre speaking to you. You get a little piece of heaven when you go to the church and you fellowship with people. But when you go home, you in hell. You go to the church, you fellowshipping with people. Gain in heaven, y'all having little church cookouts and functions and, and gatherings and holy days and sabbats and that. you having all of that little piece of heaven right there. And then you go home and you ain't got food on your plate. Now you're going through hell. You think that's how God work? Man, get out of here, bro. You think that's how the most high work? Really? That's crazy. Yo, Ringo, thanks for the support. Appreciate it. Says uh, Proverbs 10 and 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. Maketh rich. Maketh rich. So that's how you know that the scripture was properly broke down about the rich man entering the kingdom of heaven through the eye of a needle and all of that. Because the Most High just said in that scripture, he said if you work diligently, if you consistent, if you put your hands to the plow, if you're dedicated, then he's going to make of you rich. Now, over there in straightway, they working diligently, consistently serving under someone. And they're not rich. That's not the most high. That can't be the most high. Because they should all be owning their homes. They should be all owning something that they can call theirs it shouldn't be so struggly where they looking at if a man got jordans well you got this business on the side why why, all, why we ain't getting that that's crazy that's crazy y'all the most high make of us rich if we if we really consistent on our works and doing what we need to do i'm not trying to live in poverty in my life that's a curse Poverty stinks. Poverty is demons in poverty. And I'm not disrespecting anybody who's in poverty. Let me make this clear. Because I got to put this out here. I'm not disrespecting anybody who 
is going through what they going through um man we all been through real issues in life man and, and it ain't easy but what i'm trying to do even if you are struggling what i'm attempting to do right now is change your mind frame in the midst of the struggle because your your surrounding areas don't make you they don't make you it's about how you think about this it's about where your spirit at it's about who you are it's about your insight it's about the spiritual gifts you got that can manifest into great things so I'm no way means trying to disregard or disrespect poverty. Because we all been through it. Some of us still in it. But you watching this stream right now because your mind is changing. You understanding that that's a curse that was brought to brought to us because, you know, of our family curses, generational curses or what have you. But it is a curse and you must address it as such. Poverty is a curse. It's a curse. Somebody says, uh, John and the men that bruised Jesus will still be alive and see him coming in the clouds. I don't know what, what you see. Let's not get too religious. Let's stick to the to the script, the scriptures that's bringing up this truth, because it's a lot of iron sharpening iron right now. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children and hit the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Let's stop there for a moment. A good man leave an inheritance for his children's children. An inheritance. Now, if you are part of straightway and you're not leaving an inheritance for your children's children, meaning something that they can call their own, because of course we seen there was a lady who needed help and they took the social media to try to do a fundraiser. But the issue with that is there should be an inheritance left. And on top of that, you brothers got to question whether or not you a good man or not. Because a good man is not going to follow underneath another man. A good man, let's put this out here. A good man doesn't submit to another man. Now, of course, um, you know, there's times where you got to learn from other brothers. But the word submit, you hear that when it's talking about a wife submitting to a husband. Uh, Ringo shares Proverbs. Thanks for the support, fam. Proverbs 10 and 22. The blessings of the Lord, it maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. Man, the scriptures is lighting up this chat. Man, listen. Let's read that one more time, bro. Proverbs 10 and 22. The blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. Hold on. So if you're being blessed by the Lord, let me get this right. There's no strife. There's no sorrow. There's no discord. There's no arguments. Ain't none of that going on. It ain't no... Forget what Biggie Small says. The more, more money, more problems. More money we come across. The more problems we see. That's nonsense. Biggie got it wrong. That means the money that y'all getting is on the left-hand side. Because the Lord says in the Bible, he'll make you rich and it ain't no sorrow with it. You ain't going to be in sorrow. You ain't going to be up in your, your nice million dollar mansion all depressed. Or, or, or your family in total moral disarray and your, your family's in shambles, but you rich. Or you can't, you can't, or you're isolated from everybody, can't get along with nobody, and, and you done burnt all your bridges, but you're rich? No, that ain't coming from the Most High. Don't no sorrow come with the Most High's blessings when he make you rich. Yeah, Brother Ringo says, people be trying to shame believers if you're prosperous. Not even, not even when you do it the right way. Absolutely. That's real talk. That's real talk, and I, I know all about that. When I was making my Patreon, even when I started sharing my cash app and, and saying, you know, support the channel, you know, people would, at the time, you know, the so-called loyal supporters and subscribers, yo, all, all you about is money. All you about is, you know, man, I have a family to feed. And 
that goes to show these religious people don't be wanting to see you win. They don't want to see you eating. I've never been that type of person. I don't understand that that mentality. I've always liked seeing other people win, bro. Proverbs uh, 13 and 11. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that uh, gathereth by labor shall increase. 100. That means the vanity, the, the money you get, the quick dollars, y'all. The quick dollars. The money you get by being scandalous, being being a, a traitor, being deceitful, being manipulative. Some of y'all ladies, you know, you're doing a little OnlyFans. Some of you brothers selling drugs in the streets. That's money begotten by vanity. That will fade away. But if you do things the right way, bro, you will increase. You will continue to increase. And you will have longevity. And it won't, it won't rot away what moths can corrupt. It won't rot away. Why? Because you're on a strong foundation because you got it the right way. And that's why, let me tell you, this is how the most high really works. This is why when you come into the truth, regardless of what you was doing before, you'll lose everything. The most high will strip you of everything, bro. I don't know if some of y'all been in those situations where you may have been doing things the wrong way. You might have been jugging, finessing, selling something here, selling something there. Got your little scam, got your little credit card thing going, got your cell phone thing going, but the money never lasts. But when you came into the truth and you started doing something legit, now the Most High is helping you substantiate yourself. Rollo, thanks for the support. Ecclesiastes 5 and 19. Every man also to whom God have given riches and wealth and have given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. Absolutely. Man, every man also to whom have given riches and wealth. Every man. Nah, just the pastor. Just the deacon boy. Just, you know, uh, all of the elders. Every man also to whom God have given riches and wealth. And have given him power to eat thereof. And to take his portion. And to rejoice in his labor. Rejoice in his labor. This man took, he took the ability for you saints to rejoice in your own labor by taking your paycheck that's sad that's sad you can't even rejoice in your labor you know that feeling when you go to work and you and you bust 70 hours of work and you out there you hustling you doing what you're doing and you get that nice big paycheck imagine going to another man and you don't even get to rejoice in the labor the hard work that you work for even though you may be doing work and you got less than you deserve after taxes hitting everything and now you can't even rejoice in that that paycheck you earn because you got to wait for somebody to give you an allowance that's crazy bro that's the craziest thing bro Born Row, thanks for the support, says behind on the stream, but I want to add brothers of truth should be eaten now or ASAP. So when we come together, the sky is the limit. That's what I want to hear. But that can't only be achieved, maintained by being obedient. That is, bruh, that is 100% facts. And see, when you got brothers with creative mindsets, when you got brothers who are unique, in the way they think when you got just brilliant people who sit down and just really understand what's going on in the world and how to maneuver justly in the spirit of the most high what born road just said is true the sky is the limit that's why the unlimited potential farms is called what it's called up the abbreviation is up so when the brothers say the sky is the limit literally the sky is the limit it's up from here. It's up from here. This is the most high. He is doing something very interesting. He's breaking the religious dogma and stigma that was on us. It's like the most high. Like, let me tell you. I'm going to take these off. Bro. Let me take these off. Yo, it's like the most high made it so we can see clearly, clearly what not to do. The bondage that been on our people, the bondage that been there, that's been stopping us. 
and it's a religious spirit and we've we've loosely associated our struggle with righteousness and we're so far from that the kingdom of heaven is within us glory and light and majesty and royalty is within us we should desire to have great things man we should be desire we should desire to be prestigious royal people like we say we are not people scrounging over ch over loose change that's the way of the heathens that's the way of the babylonians that's the way of america in a capitalistic society where it's dog eat dog we can't be the same way we can't be like that that's a dog eat dog world where everybody cut throat and knife in each other and we seeing the same thing in the damn churches it's all about money i don't care what they say to you it's all about resources and money and everybody is desperate trying to scrounge and get what they get that ain't no way saints are the most high supposed to be living bro straight up yay more thanks for the contribution i appreciate it uh blaze worthy thank you as well highly appreciate it somebody said um that spirit makes you sick and sad right poverty listen let me tell you what comes with poverty with poverty comes more demonic activity why because demons like to operate in mess and something can be clean and still be pop in poverty as well so don't don't get it twisted but there's a lot of different spirits that come with that depression depression anxiety a lowly heart a heavy heart and this is why they be in them churches praising so hard it's like yo them people be when they be jumping and hooping and hollering they be praising so hard because that's real pain bro man i'm telling you it's real pain when you're going through when you when you don't have much those to be real with you those make the best worshipers see the churches know the churches know that people in poverty make the best worshipers bro y'all not hearing me <laughs> y'all not hear what i'm saying like you're gonna look at this totally different by the time i'm done this stream you're gonna look at these churches with the side eye you're gonna look at every single church like yo and you're gonna see it now the veil shall be lifted People in poverty do make the best worshipers. Why, they got real pain, bro? When you got them bills, when you don't know where your next dollar's coming from, bro, you be in the spirit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie to you. When you listen, when you when you don't know where your next dollar comes and it's some uncertainty, you you are very close to the Lord at that time. I'm telling you. The pastors understand that. That's why they're not telling you how to uh 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 overcome like that. Cause you really be in the spirit because you need them and you in the church you crying out lord i need this i need i need to i need to keep the lights on i need that food on the table lord baby baby babies need pampers lord i need this you be in the spirit and, and then when it's some uncertainty like something happened where you know, some checks stop rolling in. Yo, yo, you get real close to the most high. He, he talk to you. Sometimes he got to get you in that place where you uncomfortable because you used to getting this and getting that. And now you in that place where like, yo, that, that's not rolling in right now. That's not coming in right now. So now you in the, you in a spirit. Now that pastor, he soothed saying, he's saying the right thing. Now you in there, hallelujah, you hurting. You ain't got no answers to your problem. You in there jumping, hooping, hollering, praying, crying, tears flooded. But guess what? You still ain't got, you still ain't got the answer to your problem. That ain't how God worked. That ain't how God worked. Man, y'all coming with these scriptures. Y'all coming with these scriptures, bro. Um, James, thanks for the support, says uh, 10 percent tithes of your gross paycheck to a church is a big scam. Yeah, listen, the tithing thing is a total scam. Um, see, back then, people were bringing resources to the table and it was in a group setting where they were bringing resources to a greater cause. It wasn't money. It was oxen, 
wheat, different things like that. And that's what type of system you're supposed to have. That's why I said you got to have people who bring things to the table, you know, bring something to the table. But it's all going in one pot towards one directive, towards one mission. That's what it was. They were farmers. They were agricultural. It wasn't give me 10 percent of your paycheck. And Dow over there, he went way over 10 percent. He didn't even he went worse than the Christian church. He went way above 10 percent. And because we see homes there, we looking like whatever system they got going over there got to be righteous. Not when you seen that Pastor Rufus um, situation and all of this information is coming out. And we finding out how the brothers really getting treated and what's really going on. And we're finding out that none of it is biblical. None of it is scriptural. Man, I, I'm, I'm repulsed at that dude, man. That's sickening what they got going on. That's a sick. That's a sick, mentally ill motherfucker over there, bro. Real talk. And what make it so bad is this is Israelites. See, that's why I got this type of energy. Y'all done heard me talk about Nature Boy and different people like that. They not of our belief system. Real talk, man. Somebody said, keep going, breathe. This stream is moving. Oh, I ain't, I'm not even slowing down. You understand that right now, I know that there's a different frequency operating right now. You got to understand, I know that the veil have been lifted for our people. And now there's so many things that we got to revamp and change with our thought processes. Like some of you young brothers coming on aboard, like, and it's some things I even got to recant. And I know you brothers are watching and somebody going to share this within the WhatsApp group. But let me say, let me tell you this. When we were talking about small home and livable structures and things of that, that nature, I want, I want it to be known, right? Even if that's just, even if you do that, if you build a small home on the land, you want to live in that, it will be your home and things of that nature. But if you want to do something like that, I get it. If that's what you want to do in the meantime, in between time. But that shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be much greater, much greater. And even if you was to do something like that, let that be temporal, temporary. Let that be a temporary living arrangement in your mind. Say, you know what? I, I want to do this for now. Maybe I want to stack up some money, but always want greater for yourselves. Always want greater for yourselves, brothers. And it's a lot of you. It's a lot of you men that's coming in who got various skills. And I know that we were looking for men who have different trades and, and different carpentry skills and carpentry trades and things of that nature. But we end up getting, we got some of those guys, we got a lot of good skilled brothers, but we ended up getting a lot of brothers who are skilled with videography. We got a lot of uh, brothers who are entrepreneurs. We end up getting a lot of brothers who understand social media too. We end up getting a plethora of creative brothers. And, and, and after seeing what happened, actually seeing Ringo stream last night, I got very excited about the group that we had. Cause I see the group of men that we have in a whole nother way now. And I'm not saying that I didn't see the value in you brothers before, but in the meetings, I'm like, hey brothers, we gotta learn this skill and learn that skill. No, we're gonna be able to put all of that to use. Everything, everything will be put to use. Everything will be put to use. I promise you that. Somebody says, my mother gave her entire retirement to the church. Wow, what church? Not straightway, did it? My mother gave her entire, entire retirement to the church. Now my dad has passed away and me and my brother picking up the tab. And it's hard to get ahead, but my mom loves the church. Thank, thank you for this teaching. Wow. Yay more, could you please confirm if you're talking about straightway church? Please confirm that within the chat. But see, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm pretty sure even if that woman is not talking about straightway church, I'm sure that that's happened there. I'm sure that people gave an awful lot and they don't have nothing to show for it because they came and went. Please clarify what church. 
And you can say whatever church it is, even if it's not that church, because we want to listen. I have over a thousand people watching right now and I want whatever church, whatever church did that, took that. We can put them on blast so we can, you know, let it be known to their members, too. And it's a lot of people doing that, giving up their retirement, giving up all of their all, all of what they work for. Somebody said, many have fallen victim to this religion. Have people rapped like that, right? And you know, and, and, the, and the crazy part about this, the truth of the scriptures that's coming out is undeniable. It's absolutely undeniable. She said straightway. Can somebody say straightway church? Question mark, oh no, hold up. She just disappeared. I don't see her no more. Maybe she just wanted to get her, maybe Ye Moore just wanted to get her message out. And she she may be preoccupied, but that's, that's insane. That's insane. Somebody said, this man is more crooked than a regular pastor. He really flees the fly. Yes, bruh. I'm, I'm astounded at the, at of the level of crookedness and wickedness. I'm absolutely astonished by it bro i've never seen nobody do nothing like that she says bethel church see that's wild and i'm gonna tell you man it, it's just it's something about and you know i and again it's something about that dispute with pastor rufus and, and dow when pastor rufus left it's just something about the spirit that you can see there now now is no type of spiritual like there's no spiritual covering at all there and i don't know the, the, the total situation and we're not even going to talk about all of that but we do but anybody who have any eyes to see it's like it's all carnal now it's like you can see it you can see him with his cronies they all look dumb as hell. They all look dumb as hell. They got a dumb look on their face. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. They just need to they need to just get off the internet, right? But it's just this, it's this energy they carrying. It's just, you can just see, bro. There's something really wrong going on, bro. There's something really wrong going on. Yo, um, Ray Burroughs, thanks, says, this is so real, can't cash out from Canada. Oh man, thanks for the support. I appreciate it, bro. I definitely appreciate the support, nonetheless. And y'all know we got some great things coming down the turnpike. You know, we're gonna be doing cookouts, man. We're gonna be having camping excursions. We're gonna be having jamborees uh, on the land, which will be fundraisers. You know what I'm saying? Because this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have us some concerts. We're gonna have us some parties. We're gonna have off-grid trips. And we're gonna do that. And we're going to fundraise to build towards our land. You know, we're going to start us a camping site. We're going to start us a, um, um, a grounds for people to learn how to, you know, uh, a target, uh, a gun range. You know, all those things. And it's going to be beautiful. And, you know, and it ain't going to be no broken promises, empty promises to the people. Um, it's just going to be beautiful. Do you understand? And ain't nobody going to be operating in no preeminent... Um, spirit and ain't nobody playing no military mind games with people it's just straight up real people you know what i mean doing real things straight like that somebody said yo fam i sent and filled out on the site it's there anything else i need to do on my end um i'm gonna this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get in touch with uh with uh your with this eye and i'm uh i'm gonna ask him about if we can figure out a way to siphon i'll talk i'll talk to him about it because what what happens is um we have to go through each and every person and we may have to find another way to um to kind of maybe expedite the price process where everybody who joined can have that access immediately to that whatsapp link everybody who um actually fill out the application on the site um and if I have a moderator there who happens to have that that link um, to the the newbreed.love site, 
the, for the off grid living. There's a there's a different link. If you could share that in the chat, share that, and um, you can find it on my community section on, on a previous post. But um, we're gonna work out a way when we'll make it more seamless for y'all. Cause I know there's a lot of people that been contacting contacting that you you know, and they're coming from different places. Some people coming through email. Um, some people coming through um, my my um, Instagram and some people coming through the site, some people coming directly to WhatsApp. So we're having an issue where it's too many people coming from two different places and we need to we need to make it a way, you know, where everybody can just kind of come come through easily. Um, somebody say you still got your RV. Absolutely. It's on the land. I plan on turning my RV into a studio, an actual recording studio. Now I will be the first, I'm gonna be the first YouTuber. Peep this y'all, I'm gonna be the first YouTuber to turn the RV into an actual professional recording studio, LED lighting, all, all that. That's what I'm hoping to do. And it's gonna be fire, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be cool, bro, it's gonna be real cool. I got a whole vision for it and everything. Yup. Somebody say, you need what you call a media channel. Hey, let's talk about it behind the scenes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Somebody say, you shouldn't have said nothing. Everybody going to copy you. Hey, I ain't, I ain't mad if they copy it. they be like, yo, shout out to Bree. Yo, he came up with this. This is dope. I don't care, bro. That's, see, that's the thing. Like, information is power. They do something like that. That's cool. I like that. I ain't, I'm not one of them people that's petty like that. <laughs> Yeah, man, but man, what's going on over there? It's a damn crying shame, bro. And um, not only that, brothers and sisters, let me let me put this out here. You want to know how the Most High really work? Then watch this stream. This has a lot of replay value. King Connect, thanks for the support. This powerful message. It's time to grow. We gotta want more for ourselves. Those that are truly living to do the Most High will deserve it and that's what i'm saying you gotta want more for ourselves like you know brothers brothers in the um who's joining us don't expect that you're gonna be living in poverty don't expect that you're gonna be out there living in tents like what what let me let me put this out here what we look like what we look like as men of the most high claiming to be kings and righteous men what we look like letting y'all be out there living in tents it's not fitting to happen it ain't finna be no hood. It ain't gonna look like no hood. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna have a section for RBs. We're gonna have a se section for Mongolian yurt living. We're gonna also have a section for homes, small homes. And then we'll have a section for, you know, homes, bigger homes and all of that. There'll be grocery, there'll be stores, markets. Man, listen, you gotta, bruh. Bruh, we're not gonna let y'all live in nylon tents, bro. It's not fitting to happen. You're not going to be living hard like that. This ain't no off grid. You got to hunt all the time just to survive either. No, nah, we're going to have our, we listen, we want our own stores. We want our own gas station. I want a diner. I want a real RV lot, like an RV lot that you'll pull up on and be like, yo, this is a legit RV lot to go camp out on. <laughs> like, bro, it ain't finna look all the houses looking crazy it's a yurt here and the um it's a yurt right here and then it's camps it's it's tents right here and then it, and then it, and then there's a big house right it ain't gonna look like it everything gonna be sectioned off it's gonna look righteous it's gonna look neat and in order do you understand like it ain't gonna be looking like a damn third world hood that we just out there trying to survive because we waiting on the end of the world like that's crazy bro that is crazy as hell if you think that's how it's gonna be and I teach a lot about what's to come, like far as what's going on in the world, what we got to look out for. But we're not moving in haste. We're not doing anything in haste. We're not doing nothing in haste. We're not out here moving in fear. Remember, the Bible says the wicked flee when no man pursue. We're not out here. The wicked do that. Yo, it's about to end, y'all. Y'all heard what y'all heard what Biden just said. You heard what this one said. Yo, look. Yo, I'll do anything, yo. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna live in a tent. I'm gonna no. That's 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 not that's not how we doing it. That's not how we doing things. That'll be wicked. That'll be you trying to run and hide and save yourself. That'll be cowardice, because you like yo. I want to live. I just want to survive and be off the grid when the grid go down. Nah. That ain't how this work. The most high gonna make a way. Y'all gotta remember. Somebody, there's a scripture. And I always ask you what I always ask you what desire for the scripture. But hold on one moment. There's a scripture that say, um, it says when we leave our captivity that we will have, like we will be plenteous, like we we're not going to just leave and be intense and no it says when we leave when we when we leave the babylonian captivity we will be wealthy like we will have things but he always shares that with me cuz i always forget the chapter and verse but if y'all if if y'all got that scripture post it up for me like we're not finna leave and be all jacked up bro nah mike thank michael thank you for the 20 Peace and blessings, new breed. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, those are na um, neighbors talk. Yep. Somebody says, "Amen." Very true. We gotta have trust in the Lord, right? Like, and I do keep people, and I'm always keep y'all. I'm gonna always keep you aware of things that's happening in the world. But. Listen, we not on no fleeing stuff. We not on no cowardice stuff. We on some, we we about our business and we about to really build something great. That's what we on. Uh, somebody, and I will call, boom, there we go. I think this is it. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first but well, that's that's close that's close to the scripture but that's real talk though that's real talk yeah living life to the fullest type stuff you got it right you got it right um what's that say daisy the outcast yeah you got it right real talk man but listen man man it's always an honor and a blessing building with y'all man we've been going on for almost around two hours man time flew time flew but, but thank everybody for supporting. Man, it's highly appreciated. In this video, you learn how the most high really work. And right here, you learning the difference between bondage, um, poverty, and, and real righteous wealth and riches, man. Yep. There we go. Proverbs 1 and 13. We shall find a precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. You got it right. You got it right. Anyway, peace and blessings, y'all.